What you doing? Checking females for eggs, but I don't know if Busty Run is actually gravid or if she's just fat again. Ooh. I don't know. Like, see how it's like flat up here and it starts to push out? I think she's gravid. Yeah, but she pulled that last year to get extra yeah. food, I'm pretty sure. No, last year was the year before that. She gave us eggs last year. Did she? Yep. Oh, Charlotte's gravid. Ooh. Nice, look at her. Oh, big chunky girl. She's got lots wow. of eggs. You wow. are going to give us lots of babies. Yeah. Okay, how about Om Nom? Like? Om Nom. Are you gravid? Oh my gosh, yes oh, wow. she is. Wow, you wow. have so many. Oh, she's heavy. Don't eat your babies wow. this year. Oh yeah, please don't eat them. Please yeah. don't eat them. All right, how about, who's the basketball one? Basketball, oh, uh, Azura. We can see if she's gravid. Oh, she's in her lay box. Ooh. Are you gravid? She looks chunky near she the bottom there. She kinda does, yeah. Okay, right. we'll leave you alone. Okay, what about Waffle? Waffle. Oh, look at this one, just hanging down. Aw, hi Kate. Oh my gosh! There's eggs! There is eggs! Did, did you get, get them? Yeah, did you get them all out? I don't feel any lumps, but yeah, she's definitely, look at that. Oh, yeah, she's got them all out. Definitely she empty. She is upset. Wow, you're so angry, Waffle. You did it, though. You're a good mama. You pushed out all your eggs. Look at all those. There's wow, so many there's eggs. There. She didn't like this one. Apparently not. Those ones she all wanted to. Wow. Wow, look at that one. That was like extra That's, long. Yeah, super long egg next to a short one. <laughs> all right, well, I guess we'll take these out. Who did we pair her with again? Uh, we'll have to go look that up. So who was dad for this clutch? We paired her with Penny, this oh, beautiful lemon ghost male yeah he's a new breeder for us he was surrendered into our rescue and he's an awesome snake a beautiful yeah. lemon ghost so he got yeah the job done he did all those eggs are fertile yeah. and we gave him we got him a new girlfriend yeah she's just really young right now dude oh that's right we bought him a future new yeah. girlfriend that's also lemon ghost yep. yeah so we'll see the lemon ghost gene kind of gives them this lemony yellow yeah yeah a little bit on the sides too but mostly dorsally they're kind of lemon yellow i mean um he kind of does look similar on camera Camera. This is one really? morph where you can kind of see it, but in order to see it properly, you kind of got to see it next to another one. Yeah, so if we compare him to this one, now you can see the difference. Yep. Yeah, so this is, is a really... Just a normal? Just a normal, yeah. yeah. Normal next to... Was that? Or a, a, a lemon, ghost. lemon ghost. Yeah, so that's why we decided to breed him this year, is to see if we could pass down this lemon ghost. That color. It's, yeah, it's a line bred trait, so this can pass on without the female having lemon ghost, but you're going to have better lemon ghost babies if you pair a lemon ghost with a yeah. lemon ghost. Uh, so we're going to see how well it passes on being just from one parent. Yeah. Or they all come out normal looking. They might all look normal too, who knows. Looks like he is just as sassy though as she is. Yes. So these are going to be sassy babies, I think. Let's count and see what we've got. Oh my gosh. We're back in the <sighs> filling station. We sure are. Before we take a look, we've got to set up our workstation with perlite. Is that enough, you think? Probably. They, can, they kind of rest on top more. Yeah. The hog noses like it a little bit drier, so we don't really... This year, we're not going to try to cushion them with perlite all around like we have in the past, because it seems like when they get close to hatching, the shells turn a little bit translucent, which I've read means too high of humidity. Okay. So I'm going to try to keep them less surrounded by perlite this year. Makes sense. So I mean, let's... they lay their eggs in sand prairies, so... Yeah, they don't, they're not laying their eggs in something super humid, and we're putting them in a humid environment yeah. here. So we're going to try to balance that out a little bit this all year. Right. Okay. How many do we have? Oh my gosh. There's so many. Okay, yeah, one, two, three, four, 20, 20, two, three, four, five, six, 27? Jeez. Did I count peace. that right or did I miss any? No, we'll, well, we'll, we'll count we'll again. Them, I yeah. think there's 27. Holy cow, that's a huge clutch. Yeah, it is. Wow. For not a huge a hog nose snake either. I mean, she didn't really lay much last year, if I remember correctly. I'll have to look it up, but she's kind of making up for it here. I want to nestle them in enough to keep them snug and not rolling around, but I'm not going to try to like cover all sides or anything. Oh no, I have two left, but no more space. Spot right there. Oh, okay. Perfect. Okay. And then... Where are we going to put this last one? Maybe like in this corner? Oh, we like to pour water into the corner. So yeah, maybe just like right on the edge. Yeah, that'll work. There we go. Yeah, I got to leave the co corners open for water pouring throughout right. incubation. How many do we have? Oh my gosh. Four, eight, 13, 14, 26. 26. Oh my gosh. That is an amazingly huge clutch for a I hognose. I think that's the biggest hognose clutch we have ever gotten before. Good for her. And for, from a big hognose too. Like she actually, now thinking about it, she is a pretty big hognose. Okay. She just looks small right now because she just laid a bunch of sense. eggs. Yeah. But Waffle is a pretty big girl. So this is a really, 
No slugs. So oh, wow. far this year, we have not had We've got any. slugless. Yeah, we've been slugless so far this year, except for the one bull snake that wasn't paired with a male anyway. Oh, yeah. The Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. That, does, that, that, doesn't, that count. doesn't count. For the snakes that we've paired, we have had zero slugs so far. All right, well, what are we going to mark these eggs with? We need um, a category that we can have 26 of. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay, we have our theme. We do. We have so many little eggs. We need a lot of a little thing. We're gonna do currency symbols. Since dad is Penny. Yeah, his name is Penny. So different currencies it is. We're gonna start with a pretty familiar one to us in the States. Yeah. The dollar. The dollar. Oh, and? The cents. The cents. I should have done the two that were connected. Oh well. Is that the yen? The yen. Oh. All right, I think we have some fans who will recognize this if I do it right. Kind of. That's an L. That's supposed to be the pound sign. Yeah, it's <laughs> close enough. Okay. Okay, another familiar one for people across the pond. Euro. Hooray. All right, this is going to take a while if we go through each one individually, so we're just going to speed through and see, as you're watching, how many you recognize. I Wait. couldn't tell you what most of those are. Yep, me neither. Even though I just helped you come up with them. Yeah, I probably know five of them, if that, maybe. I don't know. I know snakes. I don't I know like, currencies. I like that one. Yeah, that, that was really cool. cool looking. The Israeli one, I think? Yeah, it was like a... I believe it was. Greckle? Something like that. Super cool. Like, I, we learned something today. There's some really uh, cool currency symbols out there. Huh. Oh, no, we didn't do the Pokemon one. Oh, no. Shoot. Oh, we missed out. We could have done the Pokemon currency. We uh, had to put the the uh, Russian ruble. Shoot, what does that look like? Can we there? change one? I missed out, guys. I should have done the polka dollar. You can probably turn the P into that. We could do a rupee, or the ruble, or that one. We that could... one has the lines up top, though. Do the ruble. Okay, then. okay. Turn we're gonna to switch one. That last one, we're switching. There. Now, now it's... it's a polka dollar ruble. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> The Russian polka dollar. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, that is a huge, huge clutch. Yes. From a single hog nose. That's insane. So we're gonna mark them down. They're all ready to go into into the incubator. And this is waffle and penny. And it is still five three. Five three. <laughs> it's crazy. You've changed outfits. You've I have. done a whole bunch. We've done <laughs> a, a handful of Did a program of those. during yeah. the day. Yeah, we're <laughs> filming all around work today. But this is, this is so cool to see. Yeah. What a huge clutch. Go throw them in the incubation. <gasps> okay. All right, first planes hog nose eggs, right into the incubator. Nice. Should we wait to finish this video till we have another hog nose clutch? Yeah. It's not gonna take long. No, we have a we'll, lot of girls ready to pop. We'll get one in like two or three days. Probably. We'll come back then. All right. And for our second clutch in this video, look who just laid our hypo bull snake, het patternless, white side, and exanthic. Take a look in her lay box. I think she's still in here anyway. Oh, yep, she is. Oh, hello, girl. You're so pretty. And look at those eggs. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's take these out. All right. Here is our lovely lady bull snake. Oh, my gosh. Man, she's still big. Usually, they look a bit more deflated like than this when they have just laid eggs. But not in her case. She's just a tank, apparently. We're going to slowly, carefully extract these eggs from her. And she looks pretty tired. Like she hasn't moved in a while. I've kind of been checking in on her and she's just been in this position ever since she laid. So I'm going to get these out of here just like that. Good job, mama. Now I'm gonna leave you alone so you can relax because I know how tired you are. And let's take a closer look at these eggs. All right, we're switching to our camera because technology, I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, we have our eggs here. So we have three, or sorry, six beautiful, what look like fertile eggs. And we have attached to them one, two, three, 
four slugs, five, six, seven, eight, nine slugs. Yeah, this is the worst clutch we've had all year. It is, actually. And since these slugs are just going to rot and go bad and attract gnats, we're going to separate them right away because, oh, that one popped right off. Yeah, it did. Yeah, they are new enough eggs that they don't seem to be super stuck, which is good. Gonna peel that guy off. That's a long egg. Whoa. Grab this guy. Oh, they, they're detaching really easily. Nice. Perfect. Who is this? This is the hypo female. She oh, actually right. doesn't have a name yet. So we'll have to think of one for her. This girl was paired with a male that was normal and het patternless, and that's it. Mom is het patternless, white side, and exanthic. So the babies will really just be normals and patternless, and that's that's it. But that's okay. We're gonna get some patternless out of it. And who knows? A lot of bull snakes. I mean, bull snakes are known for having surprise heads. So you True. never know what's gonna happen. Yeah, bull snakes are one of those that it's like you can probably breed a normal and a normal together, and you'll get a weird morph. You really will. Unless Unless they're like wild caught or something. All right, these are a little bit dented in because they did sit a little bit longer than normal before being taken out. I wanted to make sure she was done. So I'm gonna bury them a little bit more than usual, I think, with the perlite just to help re rehydrate them. And after incubating two clumps together and not having very good success with it, I am going to separate these so we have just a single layer of eggs. It seems like that really helps them out. There we go, got all of our eggs nestled in. Now we have to mark the top part of them. Okay, since we have six eggs and insects have six legs, Some we're gonna do insects? an insect theme. All right. That, does that make sense? Sure. Okay. I mean, there's insects that have more than six legs, aren't there? Oh, shoot, there are. Eh, it still works. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, this, this will work just fine. For example, <laughs> walking sticks. Oh wait, little antenna. Yeah, yeah. There we go. There you go. Walking Perfect. sticks. Insect clutch. We have praying mantis, ladybug, I fly. fly, maybe With a moth. Two wings. I don't know what that ended up being. Walking stick, uh, dragonfly, and our favorite here in Minnesota, the mosquito. It's our state bird. Yeah. All right, lid on. This was from. I mean, she doesn't have a name yet. Hypo. Uh oh. Which way does the pea go? That way. Sure. <laughs> Hat. Pat. I just realized he doesn't have a name either. Yeah. Well, that's kind of generic. The no-name clutches. The no-name clutch. All right, laid on 520, a day before Ed's birthday. Hooray. Into the incubator. All right, we got the big incubator set up. That looks so cool. Doesn't it? Look at it's all so those eggs. So some of you might be wondering, what are we doing with the Pepsi fridge incubator that Ed worked on and turned into an incubator last year? I think our plan is we're going to incubate eggs back here throughout the majority of incubation so that I can add water and check on them frequently. And then when they start pipping or getting close to pipping, we might move them to that incubator up in retail so that maybe visitors can see baby snakes hatching. Yep. So that's why we have them all back here for now. Also, shameless plug, Noodle Fam shirt. Yeah. You can become part of the Noodle family by going to snakediscoverystore.com. We can say that kind of stuff now. Yeah. Look at that, the website's live. Okay, anyway, we're gonna put these right here there. seems appropriate. Oh, Perfect. Still has that new incubator. Yes, smell. it does. <laughs> oh wow! I didn't realize that. <laughs> Poor eggs. They don't need to breathe right now, so nah. no guarantee he's a bull snake. Yeah, that's true. He might try to eat me. We'll see. Here's the dad. He is a beautiful, possibly red morph mutation or red oh, mutation. Right. He's the one with like the gray cheeks. Yeah, look at like the back of his head. It's like a weird gray color. I've never seen that before in a bull snake, but it's very unique to him. So I don't know if that will get passed on or not. The red color probably will have some influence on the babies, but he is also supposedly, we haven't proved it out yet, pet patternless. Okay. So being paired to that hypo female will give each egg, each of those six babies, a, um, a one in four chance or a 25% chance of being patternless. So that is assuming both of them are in fact het patternless. We have not bred either of them before. So we'll see what happens. When did we get the Gravity Falls sticker? Uh, I don't know. Oh, but that's pretty sweet. It's an awesome, awesome show. Yeah, it yes. is. So thank you guys for watching this two clutch special. Uh, it is a very exciting time of year here at Snake Discovery and it is soon going to get even more exciting in about, you know, 55 to 60 days. Yeah. I don't know why it would be 55 to 60 oh, days. Who knows? I don't know why, but it's gonna get very exciting here.
very quickly. So thank you for watching. Thank you, Patreon backers, for your amazing support. What are, what are we gonna do with these slugs? I mean, I know what I'm gonna do with one of them. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Hit my boob. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, no problem. What are, you, what are you gonna do with the rest of them? I'm gonna throw them at the interns. <laughs>